It came to light last week that the proposed Anti-Terrorism Act will be presented to Parliament tomorrow. The Sri Lanka Lawyers Collective commented on this new piece of legislation. We view both these bills as unconstitutional and against the fundamental rights. An election is drawing closer and we believe that these bills are being moved as a part of a certain program. When a commission appointed by the president is given the right to decide if a social media post is legal or not, then that threatens the people's right to expression. With this kind of repressive laws that have been brought that are aimed at, aimed at uh, preventing the information being information that is getting into the social media and the society, then that is something that's going to affect the freedom of expression in this country, particularly the fundamental right. If that happens, in a, they are not going to, the investors will not be deciding in favor of a country that has no freedom of expression, that has no democratic rights as they would wish, and even in this instance, the social media, uh, uh, the, the companies that are engaged in, such as the WhatsApp, Viber, and there are so many other uh, media companies, they could also be charged. They could also be charged by the media commission if they uh, say that if you, are, you are continue to publish something that we don't, we consider it to be an offense or defamatory or whatever, then they could also be charged. So they will not remain in a country that imposes this kind of restrictions. So they will move out. The online safety bill and the anti-terrorism bill have been placed on the order paper of parliament for tomorrow, the 3rd of October. These will blow, be a double blow to, to Sri Lanka's democracy. Sri La uh, the right of the people to dissent, their freedom of expression and also the right of uh, people to think. Their freedom of thought will be stifled by these two bills. So it is very important that we as citizens be conscious of this attempt to erode democracy in our country. If these bills are enacted into law, they are, the repercussions will be felt for many, many years to come. Just as much as we see the consequences of the PTA, 40 years, almost 40 years after it was introduced, we see the consequences long after the original parliament or the president who was instrumental in enacting them are gone. So if these two bills become law, long after the term of the present parliament, long after Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe is gone, these, the consequences of these laws will be felt on the people and on the democracy and democratic institutions in our country. This is one more way in which democracy is being stifled.